What's up guys? It's Supercar Blondie driving around in Mexico City in a Mexican made and designed supercar. How amazing is this? It's called the Bull. <laughs> the Vool uh, 05 model and it's actually the first uh, supercar in Mexico that it has been designed and manufactured in Mexico so this is pretty cool to be able to see it up close so if you if you look at the name Vool it actually stands for vehicle ultra high performance and lightweight you'll notice there's no steering wheel on at the moment so we're going to get the steering wheel Keep that in the booth for safekeeping. Yeah, for now. This is uh, how you fill up the car. So you just insert the key, push it, spin it around, and then there's your fuel tank. In order to start the car, this is like one of the coolest uh, startup processes. This is the master key. So if it's facing this way, it's like against the wind, it means it's off. And then if it's with the wind, it's now on. So the master key is on. That's the first step to starting the car. And then the second step is you've got to register the key. So here's the little thing here. You'll see it turned to green. Did you see that? Now it's green. So the car knows that I basically have the key with me and now it's ready to, to start up. No door, no jumping. on first probably a good idea so you just press this back and then you push it all the way down so it locks in place and you got a wheel yep, yep, it's on. Hey! okay so so you just push this up and then the next thing is the stop button it's a manual which is pretty cool to grab and that's how you start it up yeah should we hear it behind me it's quite cool actually really good. <laughs> super lightweight it's like under 700 kilos and it goes like a rocket 3.4 seconds 0 to 100 300 horsepower which doesn't seem like a lot but when you put it to power weight ratio then we're talking about something pretty impressive oh look there's another ball beside us <laughs> <laughs> it's attracting a lot of attention, that's for sure. We've actually got bodyguards behind us. When you're driving something this special in Mexico City, you've just got to be careful um, that you don't attract the wrong sort of attention. So we've got bodyguards behind us, just making sure that we're going to be okay. Hola, que tal? Hola. Um, turbo, a race car that you can take on the road. <laughs> Here's the brake balance to 
as well. So when you're on the track, you can control the, the brake balance from rear to front. This button here is the, the pit lane button. So this controls the speed in the pit lane. Just press that and it holds, this, it holds the speed steady. Maybe we can make it out of first. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes! One second. The red one is actually attracting quite a lot of attention, but I like the color, uh, the color combo on the silver, silver and orange. That kind of sweeps them. So this is one of the co-founders, Eker, that I'm with right now. It has been so much fun driving today. So, um, how many of these have actually been produced? Uh, we produce 25 per year. 25 per year, right, so you yeah. cap it, yeah? Every car is bespoke done with the client, together with them, so they get to choose the livery. Yeah. Every detail is designed together with the, with the client. So cool. How long does that process take? It takes around four months, yep. more or less. So if I want to put in my order today, then in four months' time I can pretty much have my car. Summer you'll be driving your car. Uh, that's so cool. Usually, if you're stuck in traffic, stop, go, stop, go, it's annoying to be driving a manual. But it was so easy on the clutch that it really didn't matter. So uh, what we need to do the next time I come out is actually take it somewhere where we want to drive it, you know? And exactly. With the double R. Yes. So with the most extreme version to the track. Exactly. So this is like the basic um, 05 version, 05 version. Right. Okay. Then there's two other versions. So the the next version is the Rock, right? Race of Champions. And then you've got like the super extreme version, the RR. So when is that going to come out? Two months. In two months time. We'll see the first one. That's awesome. The RR. Tell me about the specs. It's uh, 2.7, not 16. Sequential gearbox battle. It's wow. like the top edition in every sense. 2.7 seconds. Yeah, we've got to go and check out the carbon, full carbon wheels back at the showroom. That's pretty cool. Yeah. They're like the most lightweight at the moment, wheels in the world? Exactly. In the carbon uh, version, it's yeah. the lightest wheel in the world. So cool. 4.4 kilograms. Amazing. Congratulations. It's Thank really you. something special. You guys need to try it. <laughs> You can turn it off here, or you can, this one, right? Or you can turn it off with the master switch. That's cool. Born of a 30 year motorsport heritage, Bull is a road legal lightweight supercar. So I told you before, my brother and myself uh, have been in races all of our lives. Yeah. Since I was three, I was, I've was i been in the track. My yeah, father well. used to race for 45 years. Yeah. So, I mean, all my life I've been... Uh, I know we opened it up before, but can we just see the engine? If we can just take yeah. this... Because what it's designed to do really is when you're on the track, just the pieces can come apart really quickly. Exactly. Right? Take, so yeah, you can example, fix it. You can take off the, the complete... Ah. See, yes. there you go. One yeah. move. Oh, it's off. And everything is made to stand on its own, isn't it, in the garage? Exactly. Off. It's... <laughs> so easy. You miss it if you weren't looking. One second, off. So yeah, the idea is that you can work on the car yeah. uh, really quickly. Mm. And most importantly, you are avoiding the weight of the hinges. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> so you, so the goal really is to make it as lightweight as possible, exactly. right? Yeah. Exactly. So if you come around the, um, to the engine, can you just 
tell us, so this is actually an engine that you get from somewhere else, right? It's a crate engine. We just buy and bolt it to the car. Yeah. With the idea of not having to be uh, working on your engine mm. every thousand miles, you know? Right. So it's an, a standard engine yeah. from, for example, the Land Rover Evoque yeah. or the Focus RS. Okay. Use this kind of engine. So it's really easy to go and buy the parts. Yeah. For example, the clutch, axles, whatever you need from this whole powertrain, I wouldn't say the engine, the whole right. powertrain. Right. Uh, you can find it yeah. really quickly. Because that's the thing, if something goes wrong and you've got a super exclusive supercar, all in-house made, it can take months to get fixed, right? So this is, it's, you've got Ford here, so this is basically a, a Ford engine, right? Yeah, this is the 2 liter EcoBoost engine with 300 horsepower. Yeah. And in the double R we use a 2.3 engine with, with 400 horsepower, yeah. 510 newtons meter torque. And the, the RR version, how how lightweight is that one, the car? That one is 640 kilograms. Yeah, wow. And you've got 400 horsepower with yeah. 640 kilograms. That makes it 600 bh per ton, which is uh, Porsche 918 leagues. Wow. It's Porsche 918 really league. league. It's actually better than the Bugatti Veyron as well. Wow. That's a big <laughs> statement. <laughs> so next time I'm here, we'll have to take you to the track and see what of we course. can do. Yeah, it's been a pleasure to meet you. We're in Dubai as well. Yes, please bring it over. Oh yeah. my goodness, that would be so amazing. Yeah, yeah, let's drive it around Dubai. So great. Thank you so much for having us. It's been an absolute pleasure. All right, we're out, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next vlog somewhere in the world.